Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, we're in the last few days of springtime. The sun will be reaching its highest point in the northern hemisphere in just about 10 days or so. And then that sun will start inching down. So while it is still technically spring, I'm going to get into the bungaloha and do a little spring cleaning. And that may benefit some of you guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is organize my desk a little bit more on the on the blue wall. Everything's been running great up here. 24-7 this system is running, although not drawing a heavy load. And the last we left off up here, we were doing a test on that battery. And of course, it's doing well. It's been running non-stop ever since we hooked it up. But I'm going to swap that out for another battery that I've really been wanting to uh, put into use. So I'm going to do that real quick right now. So the first thing I'm going to do before I disconnect this battery is just take a quick look at the app up here that is monitoring this system. This is the Victron app on all these various uh, things that I've got tied into it. So <clears throat> on the MPPT, I can see there's 65 watts of solar coming in. Battery voltage, 13.35. So it's going to be a good time to go ahead and disconnect this if we go down uh, to the smart shunt, which is right there. And this is really the best way to monitor your state of charge and lithium iron phosphate batteries. And we can see, let it focus there. I'm at 85% full. Uh, so perfect time to go ahead and disconnect this and then I can put that on the shelf for a while. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and disconnect the solar from coming in here before I start disconnecting this battery. And I do have some light going on just up there. As you can see, it's nice and light in here right now. And then what's next? I guess we'll just turn the inverter off which is over here. Light went off. No power going through there now. Got that disconnected and I'm calling that on the shelf and it can sit there for many, many months without needing to be charged. So it's in good shape for some storage now. And I'm gonna slide in the new battery that I wanna put in here. It's not actually a new battery. It's one I've showed you guys before, but I really want to start working it out because I do like it. And here's the battery that I slid into place now. It's that VoltGo 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I've got it all tied up here. Uh, the way I had to put it, I thought I'd put it this way, but I ended up putting it that way for my cables. And this has some comms on this battery. Uh, which I'm not going to use. I mean, I've got all kinds of comms tied up to it with my Victron stuff, but it did have an on-off switch right there that I had to turn it on. It shows it is 100% full and uh, running. That blinking light is a run light. But this is a pretty nice battery. We know it's really well constructed, and I haven't used it a whole lot, but we're going to use it now for a while. So let's take a real quick look at... Yeah, that's reading it at 13.37. Got 78 watts of solar coming in. Uh, <clears throat> now the smart shunt's saying it's 100% full, but we need to go in and, and tell uh, all these units that instead of running a 100 amp hour battery, now we're running the 200 amp hour battery. So let's do that real quick so everything will know what we're doing. So now we're going to tell this smart shunt what size of a battery we're working with. So all we have to do is go to the, the app here and press the smart shunt. Reads it at 100% full, but again, we haven't told it that we're dealing with a 200 amp hour battery instead of a 100. So we'll go up here to settings, press the settings, press battery, and as you can see, it still says 100 amp hours. So now we need to just tell it that it's a 200 amp hour battery. So we just press that right 
there and then this pops up and then we can just go up to 200 amp hours real quick right there and then just press OK. So now it knows that it's dealing with a 200 amp hour battery so everything's configured nice and it'll know exactly when it's fully charged, when the bulk stage is over, when the absorption phase is over, and when it goes into float. So it's all good to go now. And now we'll open up the the app for the MPPT, which is our charge controller. Same thing, we just go down here, press that, that's the MPPT app. Fetching data, and there shows 82 watts now coming in. It's, uh, you know, the sun is not up to its highest point yet, and a little early in the morning, so it's just gonna get better and better. This will get up into 300 and some watts. And it's going to take this up to 14.2, hold it for a couple of hours before it shuts the panels off. But right now, 13.4 with that much wattage coming in. So it's going to go ahead and drive this up to full. Probably will get there today. It looks like it's going to be a pretty sunny day. And that battery is actually pretty full, so it'll start catching up here pretty quick. Super easy. Only took a couple of minutes to drop one battery out and drop another one in and just get it all configured to where all of the blue wall knows what it's talking about now, what size, and now I won't have to think about this again. It's just self-automated system. And now we'll just open up the app for the inverter there. And that is the VE Direct Smart, because we've got the Smart dongle, which is right there tied into the back of the inverter. So now we'll just pop that open and we'll see what we're doing with that. We know that the inverter is on. I'm drawing 29 watts right now. Uh, the, the inverter is of course running. It only draws a few, I mean just a few watts in the on position, but I'm charging a couple of devices and have a light running, which is the only reason it's reading 29. Uh, watts right now. The state is inverting, 120 volts, perfect. Voltage 13.39 under a discharge. So looking real good. Everything's set up now. Okay, on to the spring cleaning. So uh, here's that mixed bag of 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries that I had tied together to make one 48 volt 100 amp hour battery and I've left it tied up to this lead time battery balancer and this has been sitting here like this for for weeks now but I need the space so I'm going to take all of this apart and I need the cables for some upcoming stuff too so I'm going to take it all apart this has been working fantastic and I did just test with my multimeter right here and every single one of these batteries sitting here now was reading at 13.23 every single one there was not any uh, difference between any of them of course that's no load's been coming in and no load been going off for a while we did do that during a test and it still held up pretty good so but i don't need that 48 volt battery right now so i'm gonna uh, disconnect it at 13.23 with every, everything tied up like that, it's a good time to go ahead and let put them on the shelf for a while too. All right, that only took a couple of minutes to disconnect everything. I've got everything apart. Now I can get this weight off my workbench here. And I got some cables that I'm gonna need and a fuse that I'm gonna need. So this is gonna be able to not be used for a while. And I can have some more workspace. All right, nice to have this side of the table opened up again. That was a lot of weight, those four batteries there, but uh, it held up good, but I think it was starting to warp my table here a little bit. Got my charger going with the, for my power tools, which I needed. I got a few more to put up there. But anyway, on to the spring cleaning. 
Okay, so this is brand new, never been used. And some of you will recognize it even under its plastic, what that is. Let's take the plastic cover off. And this is for testing your batteries. You do capacity tests on there. Those of you that know how this works and you've seen it in action before, it's extremely accurate. You just hook up your battery. All the instructions are still in there. Plenty of videos online how to use this. And you can hook up your battery to this and drain it if you want to do a capacity test. So that's brand new, never been used, and that's going to get sent out to one of you guys. It's just been gathering dust on the shelf here in the box. I'm not planning on using this, and if one of you guys can make use out of this, I'm happy to send it your way. Now, how are we going to do that? Let's see. Got to make it fun and a little bit challenging. So, okay. Uh, just what pops into mind, the first one of you that can email me, and you'll find my email uh, in the description of my channel. You can go in there and find my email. Email me. It's projects at paradise at gmail.com. Projects in Paradise 808. I left off part of my name. Uh, and the first one of you that emails me uh, with my favorite food. And I'll send this out to you. And continuing the spring cleaning, this box gathering a little dust as well. And inside there, a brand new battery on off or disconnect switch there. We see a lot of these in use on a lot of solar systems. There's a back plate uh, in the box as well as the mounting hardware and the instructions. Again, I've never never taken it any further than just peeking in there to look at it, but uh, never used, brand new. Send one, send this out to one of you guys, and what do we put on there for the qualifications? <laughs> okay, whoever's closest to how much I weighed this morning. I weighed myself, whoever's closest. And who's ever first. This will be first come, first serve on all of these. First people to email me with those guesses will get that. I will contact you, whoever wins immediately, and then you can give me your particulars and I'll get those out to you. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Spring cleaning continues. And one more box gathering dust. Again, brand new, never been used. And I'll pull that out and show you guys what that is. I can see on the other side, I actually did write what it was. So on the shelf, I could see what it was. It's a 12 volt fuse box plus fuses. And that's what's in the, the box. There's the 12 volt um, fuse box. It's got six different lines that can be tied into there. And then there's the fuses, various size fuses it came with or whatever you're 12 volt you might want to be running off of there and it came with some little stickers you can put on here to designate uh, what you're running and to get that fuse box i'm gonna have you guess uh okay here's a good one what is the current battery voltage right there this has only been hooked up for a short time while i've been up here cleaning some stuff out. I'll tell you, looking at my app right now, there's only 53 watts coming in on the panels right now, and I am running a few loads <clears throat> up here doing this video. And right now I am looking at the app, which I will not show you, but uh, whoever can tell me what the current battery voltage is reading on that battery uh, or the closest to it, or the first one, of course, uh, that comes up with that. I'm going to write it on the box right now. And whoever guesses that can get that fuse box. Okay. Well, this makes spring cleaning a little more fun for me. I'm getting organized up here. So I'm going to give those three things away. Go over it real quick. Uh, what was it? My favorite food of all time to win that, uh, you know, battery capacity 
device. I don't know exactly what they call that, but we've seen those. They're pretty nice. They're very, very accurate. So you can discharge your battery running that and see how many amp hours it's totally uh, holding. The switch, on off switch, how much I weighed this morning, and then this, how much that battery is. <laughs> at the moment I said it was. I already wrote it down on the back of the box. So whoever gets that, you'll see that I did do that. All right. Onward and upward. That's some cleaning up for the day. All right, guys. Making progress. Having fun up here in the shop this morning. It is still morning. Uh, yeah. Still got quite a bit of morning left. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for helping me clean up the shop a little bit, making a little more shelf room, getting rid of some stuff that I never use, and that hopefully you'll be able to use and have some fun with it. Aloha. Having a beautiful day here today. Hope you guys are too. Gonna stay up here all day. Got a lot of work to do.